Today is the day the new high school years pack is officially released and it's available now everywhere and to celebrate I've got a speed build for you of a house that I built like three weeks ago and forgot to upload. So exciting stuff. I had like a really limited period of early access to high school years back in the beginning of July. And the first thing that I did when I got the pack was explore the new world and then immediately build a house on this empty lot. And so I wanna show you that house. Embarrassingly, I built this house for like a mini series let's play that I was doing. And I have now posted all but one episode of that series. So um, I'll link that down below if you wanna watch it, but don't worry. I am finally getting around to uploading this. But with that being said, let me jump in and I will show you the speed build. Did you like that? See, I'm trying really hard to make it look like I did not film this video three weeks ago with a different version of the game, but I did. And it's kind of obvious. There's a watermark, like the gallery is grayed out because we didn't have access to it. It is a little bit distracting, but I swear this is the last video that I filmed in early access. I have no more after this. It is the final one. So maybe that's kind of sweet. I'm posting the first video on the release day. Let me explain the family that lives here really fast though. So it's a three bedroom, two bathroom house. And the storyline is that these two teenage twins moved here to Copperdale to live with their aunt after their parents died. In the let's play, I said the parents got eaten by cow plants, which is very unfortunate. But long story short, parents dead. We moved here to Copperdale and now we're the new kids at school. And you know what? This house is actually kind of sneakily big because it's got the three bedrooms and the second floor is kind of hidden. It's got like basically a lofted upstairs where their aunt lives and then there's two bedrooms downstairs. So it's kind of got a decent amount of space considering how small the house and lot is. And you know what else? This lot is genuinely really nice. Like it's right here by the water. It's got beautiful views. It's probably one of the nicest lots in the game. Like I'm kind of impressed by it. Instead of a backyard, we have like a little bit more of a side because I wanted to have like a porch patio space kind of facing out to the water so I put it on the side of the house instead. Another bonus is that this house is just the base game and the high school pack so if you want to download it and use it today for your own gameplay you totally can. I've actually built a couple of like decently sized family houses with the pack because in my own gameplay I did not want to play with anybody but teens. Like whenever I was testing it I would make a household that was like in this case two twins and like some lady basically. <laughs> I did not play with their aunt at all. <laughs> I also made one where it was just like one teen and her dad. I didn't play with the dad at all. I don't care about him. I'm sorry. I'm here for the high school pack. <laughs> I'm just not interested in playing with the other Sims. I know that sounds bad, but like all the new stuff is for teens. So like, I don't want to like, what, be in the business career as an adult? That's boring. I don't care what they're up to. They simply exist to earn me money. And that also sounds bad, but I'm, I'm just being honest with you. <laughs> that was why I made those Sims is just so that somebody could go to work and then I could just, you know, go to high school and be on the football team. That was my main goal. I think one of the best parts of this pack is the new build stuff for like teenage bedrooms. Okay, you won't believe this, but the pack has 10 new beds. There's five single beds and five double beds. I guess they're kind of the same. Like there's a single and double version of each bed, but in total there's 10 new beds in this pack, which is huge. And they've all got like a bajillion swatches. Can I just say getting new beds is like such a game changer when I'm playing The Sims because things like beds and couches, I guess specifically, and maybe kitchen counters are such like deciding factors for the color scheme of a room. Like once you pick the bed, you kind of work everything else around that, at least I do. So I'm so used to like all the beds we already have. I've been dying to get more options. And this pack coming with 10 is so, so huge. That's gonna like change all of my builds from now on. The same thing happened with Dream Home Decorator because we finally got like so many new beds in that pack. It was such a game changer. This pack is the same way. And it's not just beds either. There's like a ton of new teenage room decor and you can use it for like any age bedroom, right? But there's a lot of stuff like kind of cutesy posters and, and things like that that kind of fit in for teens rooms. This whole pack is so good for stuff like that. I feel like I've been dying to have more things for teens since the game first came out. And then in this pack, they were like, okay, have it all. <laughs> and it's just so fun. I've had so much fun playing with it. It is interesting because like build mode wise, there's not really a lot of like build stuff in this pack. And by that, I mean, there's not really like a lot of windows or like roof decor, things like that. It's mostly just furniture, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, I, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm gonna use it all a ton. But I think for that reason, this pack's build buy stuff is like a little bit more attainable for the average player. To give an example, you know that Courtyard Oasis kit where it's like pretty much only build stuff? It's like a bunch of fences and spandrels and like freezes and stuff. The average simmer probably won't get a chance to use most of those things. But because this stuff is like bedroom decor, I think most people will probably use these things a lot. At least if you play like me and you play with a lot of family type gameplay, you'll probably end up using these things all the time time. Anyway, so speaking of bedroom decor, I've got the two teens living here. One of them is supposed to be like 
a gamer, science nerd kind of vibe. And so she's got like the periodic table and a big streaming setup. And then her twin brother is on the cheer team. So he's got like some more sporty things in his room. I know it's kind of stereotypical to have like the sporty sim and the nerdy sim, but I wanted to see all of the new pack stuff. And this way I had like one sim on the computer team and one on the sports team. And I got to do all of the things, even if it's a little bit cheesy. If you want to watch that Let's Play, I'll link it down below. It's only four episodes and I've just posted three of them. So it's pretty attainable to watch. So if you want to go back and look at it, I'll have that linked for you. And you know what? I've actually posted a ton of high school years content already. Like I mentioned, I had that like super brief early access period and I recorded like 15 videos during it. I literally recorded all day for like four days straight. I, I filmed so much content. In fact, so much that I'm still posting it now with this video. But granted, in my defense, this video, it just, it wasn't a priority to post. I may have filmed it first, but then I filmed 14 videos that I thought were better. <laughs> so I posted those sooner and then this one kind of, um, it fell to the back burner, but I am posting it now. I am posting it now. Oh my gosh, also one more plug. I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna be live on Twitch tonight, obviously, cause it's release day and I'm gonna play with the new pack. I think I'm gonna build a high school from scratch today because one of my favorite parts of playing with this pack back in early access was building the high school. I don't know what it was, but it was so much fun for me. It was like my favorite build I've done in years. So if you wanna pop in, my Twitch channel is just twitch.tv forward slash lilsimsy. My name is the same across all platforms and I'll link that down below for you too. I've got one giveaway code of the pack too. I'm gonna try and buy some more, but I'm not sure if they're gonna be available yet to buy, but we'll have at least one giveaway code. That's such a small amount considering how many people are gonna be there, but I'll try, I'll try. You know what's kind of sad about this house though? They have that new sneaking out feature they added into the pack, and for some reason, in all of my builds, despite my best efforts, I have been unable to find a spot to fit like a sneaking out window. <laughs> I think it's because most of my houses have foundations, and so usually like it's too high for them to sneak out of, because you have to have one tile on either side side of the window for them to go in and out of it. Obviously it's like a door, right? And so all of my houses have foundations. So I have to have like a patio or something underneath them. And I just, I never can find a spot that makes sense for it. I need to build an entire house just based around sneaking out, I think. Maybe that's my next goal. <laughs> We've done like the the teenage bedroom stuff, the, the generic things. We need to make an entire house based on sneaking out and have like four different spots to do it. Let's get like one of those trellis windows like High School Musical and then have something there for it. Oh my God, I should watch High School Musical tonight. You know what? Maybe we could all do that. Maybe that's the plan. What if tonight we all download the High School pack and we just sit in our rooms and, and watch High School Musical at the same time? That could be kind of fun. I won't lie. That, that might might be like the way to celebrate the release. It's kind of like a party, except we're all, you know, in separate places, um, <laughs> playing a Sims pack by ourselves in our, in our bedrooms. Um, and that's fine. It's fun. Anyway, speaking of bedrooms, this last room that I'm furnishing right now is the aunt's bedroom and she's supposed to be a writer. So she's got like her desk up here in this space. I used one of the new beds for her too. I had like a more darker color scheme in there. It's kind of like a black, teal and gold color scheme, which I really quite liked. And then I finally got to the outside and I was like, oh yeah, I haven't done the exterior at all yet. Oops. It was one of those things where I was just so excited about the bedrooms inside that I kind of just didn't do the exterior. And then I got to the end and I was like, oh yeah, I um <laughs> forgot about that part. <laughs> I have to landscape it, right. Right, okay. And speaking of other things that are kind of embarrassing, I'm gonna show you a tour of this house. I always film little tour videos where I kind of walk you through the whole house and show you each of the rooms and kind of show you more up close because it's kind of hard to see from the speed build because I keep turning the camera and zooming away. But I did film this tour video like a couple weeks ago when I still had early access because in my mind, I was gonna post the video sooner. So I didn't think I would actually have the game to film one when I posted it. But the thing is, I filmed this video like two weeks ago, like I said, before I had cut my hair. So I'm gonna send you back to past Simsy now where um, my hair's an inch longer and I look different. So this is the finished product of the house. Now I will warn you, there are a couple weird things inside because I've been playing in this house for a little let's play I've been doing. So for example, there are some puddles. We had some pee incidents. There's some like burnt sections of the floor cause we had some fires. Just ignore that. I forgot to clean it and frankly, I just don't care. So you're gonna see those things, but I will fix it before I put it on the gallery, I promise. I just, I can't put it on the gallery yet anyway cause I don't have the gallery in this version of the 
the game, so that is a problem for future Simsy. But here is the whole house. There isn't really a lot going on on the outside because the lot is so small, but we do have this little deck over here on the side of the house, and this of course overlooks this amazing section of water. Don't worry, I did not forget a trash can. We also have like a little grill and a table and stuff. I added in this easel in my gameplay because I needed to get the painting skill up. In the front yard, there's like a little tiny deck here in the front of the house, and then when you actually come in, the main section of the house is all just one room, basically. We've got like a little dining nook here, there's a little tiny kitchen, we've got a small living room. Um, these are also recent additions, um, those are selfies of my sims and a diploma, hang on, sorry, sorry, don't- don't look at that, ignore that. There's the fire I was talking about, ignore that too. Over here, we've got one teenager's bedroom. This sim, I pictured being on the cheer team. They're obviously a big fan of cow plants, much like myself. And then in the back of the house, we've got the other teenager's bedroom, and I pictured this sim being more like on the computer team and like kind of into programming and stuff. So this is their bedroom. There is one shared bathroom downstairs. Again, that is a pee puddle, please ignore that. Yes, my sim did pee their pants right next to the toilet, I don't want to talk about it. And then upstairs, there's a little loft space that serves as the third bedroom and it also has an ensuite. So I guess this is kind of like the primary bedroom in this house. And that's the whole thing. It's really not a very big house. There's not a ton going on, but I think it turned out really cute. In the end, it costs like 51,000 simoleons, which isn't too, too bad. It's not so good for only three bedrooms, but I've definitely built worse in my day. And I also kind of love how it has that sneaky second floor loft space. I think it's kind of cute. Now, if you are interested in downloading this house, I will put it on the gallery as soon as I can. I just can't do that until I've got like regular access to the regular game. And if you want to see me play in this house, I've been doing like a little mini series on my YouTube channel playing with the high school pack, so I'll link that little playlist for you down below. I've also been posting early access content with the new high school pack all week, and I've got a bunch more videos planned for you, so if you want to see stuff like that, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss it. And with that being said, I'm gonna end this video right here, so thank you all so much for watching, have the best rest of your day, and I will catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Of course, we have a classic little green suburban because somehow I cannot bring myself to build literally anything else.